What is going on guys and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Radical Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now today we are still inside of the Team Rocket hideout. So hopefully today we can clear the, this and take on Giovanni. Now the last episode we actually lost three mods which is absolutely super duper bad. So if you guys missed it be sure to check it out because we fought against Erika. And I, I don't want to talk about Octo. Am I gonna lie? I don't want to talk about Octo. What happened there, dude? If I just think about that again, it makes me sad again. I'm not gonna lie. That was... Dude, we only had one Mon that we lost until Erika. And then we lost three in one episode. And honestly, Giovanni was like the... the is the number one guy I was super scared of. Or I am super scared of. Because of his Manga Kangaskhan. And... Oh, dude. I really don't want to fight that guy. I really genuinely don't want to fight that guy. But... Today, the goal is... Oh my god, what was that loud beeping noise there for a second? Holy crap. The goal for today is to kind of just, you know, run through this. Uh, okay, there's no item here. To kind of just run through this and, um, yeah, hopefully take on Giovanni. Because I feel like that fight is really going to be incredibly tough. I'm not going to lie. I think that fight will be... Super duper hard, in my opinion. Um, Ethan, gonna be very, very, very honest. I think this is the correct way to go, right? Uh, we can get those items later, but not necessarily now if we don't need it right now. Uh, well, well, we gotta get up here. We gotta go and get up back up here anyway, so let's do it when we need to do it. Oh, what's that right here? An attack that absorbs half the damage inflict and restores to HP. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? I, I, I used the speed up button and I didn't even read what it was, but it sounds absolutely good. It's Leech Life. Oh, dude. Leech Life is so good. Holy crap. I was going to say, imagine we had, like, what, our guy still, but he was a special guy. So it wouldn't even have mattered anyways. Um, Playbush? I was going to say, please take him out because otherwise I genuinely do have a problem. But this way I did not. So let's get good rain you. Easy, give me that key, dude. Give me that key right now. Dude, look at him over there. He has, dude, he has his Mega Kangaskhan ready. He knows, he knows. He's 100% aware of what this thing can do and what it will do to me. And honestly, I don't know if we have the team to take him on. Dude, I really genuinely don't know. I am so scared of this guy. And I don't want to run to end. I really, really don't want to run to end. I feel like... Honestly, for this being the first or the quote-unquote first run, like we haven't wiped out once yet. Even though I believe that with the other team that we had last time, where we were still playing on version 3.1, um, I believe that team wouldn't have gotten this far. Like if if we wouldn't have gotten way better mods, there's absolutely no way that we would have gotten this far. I am genuinely under that impression. Um, oh, dude. Like, I don't want to risk anything here, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, he okay, goes for a scary face. But, like, after after what happened with Octar, I really don't want to miss anything. Like, generally. <laughs> so, if I don't do that, then I'll be super duper happy. Oh, come on, dude. Of course you take a look. Exactly the moment I, will, I look over. Um, I don't like that. Let's go out into you. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. I did nothing. Literally nothing. Um, Aqua Tail, I think. And then Flip Turn. Good. And then let me go back out into Mason. And see what he's going to do. Go back out into Magmar. Take this. That's it. Um, you shouldn't be able to live this too. Neither do you. Uh, neither do you. Dude. Like, Mason is such an insane powerhouse. I'm not going to lie. Like, he's the man. He's the man and he knows it. I hope that I don't forget to pick anything up here. Because I do know the way through this relatively easily. But I don't know what like special items this game put in here. Um, but yeah. It is what it is, I suppose. Uh, which one was it? I mean, I guess I can take this one, right? Then this one, and then it's this one. Good. Except if I want to get that item, but I don't know what it is. Do I need it now? 
Perhaps. Maybe. Perhaps not. Um, anything that they have here, because I do kind of... I saw, like, there's a lot of TMs lying around here, right? And I don't want to miss those. Like, the, those type of potions are incredibly useless, because I can't use items anyways. So it doesn't freaking matter to me. But maybe there's other stuff here that, that, that you know, would be useful. Even in the battle, because I think, as far as I know... Oh, dude, we're already here. I don't want to do this. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to do this. Um, oh, wait. I thought you were fairy. Why did I think you were fairy? Um, doesn't really matter. But let's just go back out into Mason then and Glaive Rush you. <gasps> that does matter. Oh, no. Why? Why do we have imposter? What's the smartest thing to do? I guess go out into you? He's gonna Dragon Claw, it's a crit, thank you very much, dude. Holy crap, and then I Iron Head you? <gasps> See how much damage he does, let me detect once. So I heal up a bit, and then Iron Head again. Good. Now I can go back out into Mason, and Icicle Crash. Holy crap, sometimes these guys, they, they are a bit more dangerous than they should be, dude. Because of the random and hidden abilities, right? I feel like that's kind of the thing that sometimes, you know? Sometimes, oh, do he has the same guy as the other dude? Holy crap. Now what? Do we take him on already? Oh, no, I don't want to. I really don't want to. I feel like I'm going to check this out, place out a little bit more, and then I'm going to make a cut, and then we're going to take him on in a little bit. So you guys don't have to do all of that. So I'll see you guys in a second. So, guys, we are back now um, with the fight for Giovanni. No, that's not the team I wanted to use. I was just adjusting items. <laughs> I was just adjusting items, and uh, that's why I totally have the wrong team. And um, no, I think you're gonna stay out. I think this is actually the team I want to use. So the plan. What's the plan, guys? What's the plan? The plan is for me to have Frosty for Nido King because we have Ice Scale, so he has special damage. So I don't think Nido King can really do much against us. And we also have the lefties, and we are bold, so maybe we can live one or two attacks from a Mega Kangaskhan here, because the plan is that maybe I have the ability to get one or two curses off against the Nido King. And maybe then that would be helpful, because I'm really scared of the Kangaskhan and the Taurus. So I have Eric for Taurus. Um... So we have Psychic. I hope it's enough to take him out. I don't really know, but I do hope it is. We have the Den for the Honchkrow and for... Also a little bit for the Kangaskhan. The reason is because... What the plan is, the plan is to nuzzle the Kangaskhan so he's Parrot. And then we can hopefully go for one and two charms. And with that, maybe he gets Parrot, maybe his attack gets lowered. And then the plan is to, we also have Kekko. Kekko is here for Gooey, so he can lo lower his speed. I mean, if he's Parrot, it doesn't even matter anymore, but if he's not, then, you know, maybe. Confuse Ray, if he does get a lot of power punches off, and Gastro Assets to remove his ability. And then, we have Legend here, who has Imposter, because then maybe we can get our own Mega Kangaskhan, which would be an incredibly insane. And then we have Charizard for the Worm. I forgot his name, but for the Worm. And honestly, this fight, I am super scared of this fight. I don't really know how this is going to go. I feel like this could definitely end the slog right here, right now. I just wanted to have his team up real quick and also have the Calx up real quick. See how it's going to go, but this is... Dude, I don't know. So, Nodo King is going to come out. I didn't cut how much attack or how much damage he does to Frosty. Because he does have the Shield Force and the Life Warp. So, this could be a lot more than I think. But I still want to go for Curse. Oh, he swaps out immediately into Taurus. God damn. That is not good. I do go for Curse. But I don't think it matters. I definitely have to switch out. I mean, he might... Honestly, dude, if he goes for Bulk Up, I have a problem here. I genuinely do have a problem here. I feel like... You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try to get a Bulldoze off. He's gonna go for Bulk Up. Okay, I thought he would do that. Because now I can I can bulldoze him. 
And he, his speed is... Oh, it, it wouldn't have mattered. This does nothing. It wouldn't have mattered. I don't know. I shouldn't have done that. Let's go out into Eric. Eric, how much are you going to take? Nothing. He goes for bulk up again. Which is good. Because I think he has to swap out. There's absolutely no way he, he tanks his psychic, right? Please don't tank it. Please don't tank it. Please don't tank it. Please don't tank it. Yes. Yes. Taurus is gone. Taurus is gone. Threat number one is gone. Okay. We still have almost full HP Frosty. King's gun comes out. King's gun comes out. I'm going to protect. Because he's going to go for fake out, right? 100% he's going to go for fake out. I'm going to protect. But he's going to go for crunch now. Probably. Oh, he, 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 did he immediately go for crunch? I don't know. I didn't see it. The den. The den needs to nuzzle. Surely, if I don't have the den for the haunch crow, it might be a problem. Like, if he goes too far or too low HP, that might be a problem. But he should be able to tank as well. Yeah, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry. He wouldn't take a body slam well. That's the one thing. My defense drop. I got a defense drop. That is absolutely the worst thing in the world. I still can't nuzzle him. Please be prepared. Please be prepared. Because otherwise, I don't know if the den can even survive this now. Please be prepared. Please be prepared. Fuck. Yeah. This is a problem. This is a problem. I'm not gonna lie. This is a problem. It only hit once, too. Because I can't lower his... I can't lower his stats now, right? But I maybe I can get my own Kangaskhan out. Legend comes out, Imposter goes through, I get a Mega Kangaskhan. That is amazing. Because I go for Fake Out. He can't stop it. Yeah, hit him twice. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Let's power up Punch. Let's power up Punch. See how much it does. I'm always going to be faster than him. Oh, that is so good. It's such, it was such a good idea to bring my Imposter Legend. It was such a good idea. He's gonna go for body slam. Don't take him out. Don't take me out. Don't take me out. Live it. Live it. Live it. That is the worst thing. That is the worst thing that could have happened. It's a speed high now. Let me go out into Kekko. I still have Kekko. There's a reason why I brought him. There's a reason why I brought him. He's gonna go for crunch. Doesn't matter. I should tank it well. Gooey, he's gonna be even slower, it doesn't matter, really. He's gonna be even slower, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, but still good for me. I do still... Dude, do I want to go for Gastro Asset? I'm gonna go for Gastro Asset. <gasps> because no matter what, who comes in, Earthworm. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter for him, right? I don't even know what his ability is. But his ability is gone. Oh, he's gonna go for Shad Tail for sure. He's gonna go for Shad Tail for sure. But for who? But for who? Doesn't matter. Maybe he doesn't do it. I go out into Infinity. Shad Tail. He does do it. God damn it. For who? Haunch Crow? That is bad. That is bad. But what's he gonna do to me? He's gonna go for a crit for sure, right? So probably Night Slash. Oh, can I live one? I don't know. God damn, dude. I hate this move so much, dude. He sets up that shit for his friend, Jolly. What does he have? Night Slash. I mean, I'm assuming he's just gonna go for Night Slash. I don't, I don't know if he would go for anything else. On to my Charizard. I don't want to lose Charizard because I know I can at some point get a freaking what Mega Charizard. But he's gonna go do 35% damage. What item does he have? Skill Blends, Super Lock, and Skill Blends. I should be able to take one, right? Dude, I'm so scared. How much does Drill Pack do? No crit should take me out. No crit should take me out. 
I don't want to go out into Frost. I was like, do I go out into Frosty? But probably not. Or Kecko. Eric, no. Eric, Night Slash is going to take me out for sure. That's why I needed the Den, dude. That's why I really wanted to have the Den. I'm going to go for Heat Wave. He's going to go for Drill Pack. Please don't crit me. Please don't crit me. It's a crit. It's not enough. Can I? I just please let me get rid of your substitute. That's all I want. Did you? Did you? Did it fade? It did fade. That is amazing. That is all I really needed. Good. Can I go out into you? What does it do if I go out into you? Nothing really much. I can't really do much. I could go out into Frosty, but if I go out into Frosty, then what? I can't lose Frosty, I really can't. I think I'm gonna go out into you. Dude, I should have kept the rock move here. He's gonna go for Night Slash, how much does that do? It's gonna crit for sure. That is so much damage. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, man. I really don't know. Do I have... I don't have Protect on you, right? No, I don't. I think I have to sack someone off here. And I don't like that, to be honest. I don't like that one bit. He doesn't have Taurus. Would I be able to take him out? With the Thunderbolt even? Dude, I hate this fight. What is this fight, man? He still has Mega Kangaskhan in the back. I gotta psych you, Legend. I'm sorry, I love you, Legend, but... You gotta go. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I was supposed to do there other than that. I really don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I feel like the only thing I can do is use Thunderbolt. Hope he dies. Please don't tank it. Please don't tank it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! Dude! He's minus one. He should be slower than my Charizard, right? He's definitely not slower than, um... Is he slower than Frosty? No shot, right? No. He's not. Oh, he, if he goes for Sucker Punch, though... I can Roost. I can Roost. It should be fine. I'm gonna roost. Please, go, please press sucker punch here. Like, just tell me you press sucker punch. God damn it. Dude. <laughs> roost. He went for sucker punch this time. Amazing. Good. Perfect. Awesome. Why? Can I go for para punch even? I think I can. I don't know what's gonna come out, but I'm gonna be plus one for whatever it is. Nidoking King, probably, yeah? Yeah. What does he have for me? Thunderbolt. He's gonna go for Thunderbolt. Doesn't matter, I go out into Frosty. Doesn't matter, I go out into Frosty. You don't have anything for Frosty. <sighs> Dude, I think we're gonna walk away with the dub, but we lost so much. We lost so much. I don't know how we're gonna continue, dude. Oh, uh, we lost so much here, man. What does he have left? He has Earthworm. He has Kangaskhan. I go Curse. He goes into Earthworm. What's he gonna do? Body press me. Or Iron Head. But either way, I should live one for sure, right? Or do I just swap out to be sure that I don't die? So I can go out and. Dude, let me just play the safe, go out into Infinity. There's no reason not to play the safe. It really isn't. Heat wave him. You're out. You go out into Kangaskhan. I mean, you're definitely gonna fake out, right? Oh my god. 
So I got into Keko. So his speed is even more lowered. And then I go for Giga Drain. How much did he do? Oh my god, he does so much. I don't have Protect. But I'm gonna assume... No, I can't assume that he does that. Does Giga Drain take you out? Giga Drain has to take you out here. It really does have to take you out. If it doesn't take you out... Good. I was gonna say, if it doesn't take you out, I'm gonna lose another Morn. But I don't want to... I didn't want to lose another Morn. Ice Beam doesn't take, do anything. Frosty, Frost Breath him. Earth Power doesn't do anything. Frost Breath takes you out. Or almost takes you out either way. Yeah, it takes you out. Good. We won. We won against Giovanni. Please tell me that OBS caught that and didn't freeze or anything else like that. <laughs> like it did the one fight. No, it didn't freeze. Dude. We lost so much though. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. Child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Could I have played this better? I don't know if I could have played this better to be honest. Like who did I lose? All my electric types, man. The fact that Eric couldn't take out the Honchkrow. Like, I was more scared of the Taurus. That's why I gave him Twisted Spoon to make sure I take him out. If I had given you anything else, maybe for, for Thunderbolt, that could have maybe done the trick. But I didn't. <sighs> but I didn't. Keiko survived, which is good. Deden, dude. Deden was so good. You were so good. You really completely took out that Mega Kangaskhan. Like, I still had Charm in case I would have needed it, but I think the power was more worth it. At the end of the day, I think that was more worth it. Did we get? Did we ever get him paralyzed, though? So maybe it wasn't even that much worth it. Maybe just doing Gooey... Um, gooey Kekko would have been the trick. The fact that we lost Dreepy is so sad, because you're so close to evolving, too. God damn it, dude. What a fight. Oh, man. My heart is so... I don't know. I don't know what to say now. I mean... <laughs> the fact that we do have to do another fight against him in Sulfco. I don't know what I'm supposed to say, dude. I don't know what I'm supposed to say, dude. Giovanni is such a bitch. <laughs> I don't know... Dude, he just is. Come on. Like, I don't know what else to say other than that. Really. What else do you want me to say other than that? Well, but thanks to beating him, we can now level up our mons again, which is pretty good. At the same time, as you guys know, we lost three, which is... Dude, we lost three in the last episode. We lose three in this episode. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like, if it continues on like this, this run is not gonna last long anymore. The fact that we even beat him makes me super happy because honestly, if I'm if I'm gonna be real honest with you guys, I thought we'd lose here. I honestly thought this would be the end of our run. Um, but it not being the case is good because we still have good mods, right? We still have Spartan, we still have Daryl, which I mean, we do also have Stan. We have Excalibur. The thing is, the whole is that the, all our good mons are the same type, right? Chiyu is the same typing as Charizard. Stan is the same typing as Venusaur. Mason is the same typing as um, what was this? as Frosty. Like, and I feel like look at all the Grass type mon. The Grass type power we have here. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to think. Like, we really, really do need a lot better encounters here. Like, we genuinely do. We genuinely do. 3P is gone. Dude, that sucks. I could have evolved you, I think, now, too, with a new level cap. Eric, too. Oh, dude, Eric, you were so good. You were, like, the second version of freaking Voltavik, like, of Kyle. And it just wasn't... It wasn't meant to be. Man, it wasn't meant to be. The Den too. I mean, we still have Quaker, right? Quaker still being here and having Moxie too is good, but... God damn it. We lost so much in this fight. We really, really did. At least on, like, the, the electric side. 
<sighs> Man, I'm gonna level up my mods real quick and then um, I'll show you guys what we have what's new um, And yeah, I think then we we also have um, Everything we did everything that we needed to do in this episode. I believe So I'll do that real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. So I'll see you in a bit so we are back and as you can see I'm now inside of um, Cerulean City, right? That's the name of this place. Yes, it is because I went ahead and I evolved Yuna and let's see what his ability is because hopefully it's good Being flinched raises speed uh, Yeah, dude, I don't know maybe maybe not and we also evolved Dan so let's see what Dan's ability is Oh, I can still check your moving last boost power by 30% that is really good because you're inc incredibly slow that is not bad. I can still check out your hidden abilities though, um, which is also good to know. So I think we can do that real quick, right? Let's do that real quick. I'm, I'm gonna take you guys with me in order to do that really quickly. And then I think that this is going to be where we're gonna end this episode right here and pick up the next time. Um, yes, I do want to see what your ability and your hidden ability is. So let's take a look. And for Yuna we get Cheek Pouch, which isn't that good. And for you we get Old Calcum Pulse. <laughs> Set Sun for 5 turns, boost attack by 30% in Sun. Okay, dude. I mean, maybe we could we could run a sun, a sunny dance team or something like you know, you know, you know Maybe possibly we could do that. I think there were like one or two guys who also wasn't your hidden ability something like chlorophyll or so too I mean Maybe that's a possibility. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, but it's interesting to know um, I do think for now though. I do want to get your other ability back I do think that's better because I don't always like weather conditions. Well, except actually now I think we're soon gonna get to the parts where we do want weather conditions, right? So maybe it's not gonna take a long time I still we can, uh, until we can do something with it though. So, but I think again, this is where we're gonna end this episode right here. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this time we lost three mons. It's incredibly sad in my opinion because we lost two electric types. Like in two episodes, we lost three electric types that we, ha that we had. We only have one more and um... We did beat Giovanni though, but we lost half our team. Would I say that's a victory? Since I thought that we would lose the Nuzlocke here, I think yes. Because generally speaking, like I heard just from watching people and all that kind of stuff that this is like one of the toughest fights that you can have. And since it's the first time I'm really playing through Radical Red, I honestly didn't think I would get this far. But I suppose we really get spoon fat, like especially with Baxcalibur and some other mods that we got. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, we lost a lot. I think um, with a bit more experience, we wouldn't have lost that much there. Because I feel like the one thing I could have done better was to utilize the Den better, right? The Den was the ultimate counter for Hanshkro. And I think we didn't have to sack him the way we did. And if we didn't do that, I think we... You would have stayed alive and you would have stayed alive. I think we would have been able to save two months. Or, I don't know, maybe we would have only lost Cradilly, which wouldn't have been necessarily so bad because we have like this guy who's a grass tank, we have these two who are also pretty good tanks and you are a tank too. So maybe I should have used the GUI strat had it happened that way. Yeah, but I don't know. It's so tough, it was also super unlucky, right, that, that Reap he got got parrot. If he didn't get parrot, I think uh, maybe he could have done more. Well, he would have been able to take out the Kangaskhan, but it wouldn't have mattered at the end. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I could have utilized it then better. But it doesn't matter anymore. Dude, it doesn't matter anymore. We lost the fight. We lost the fight. It is what it is. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye-bye.